Hey guys, CW Tech here, and in today's video we're going to look at the performance of the Dell Optiplex 3000 Mid Tower. Let's take a look into it. Starting, this build is a pretty general use workstation. It is an i5-12500 CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4, 512 gig solid state. It's about it. Nothing too special on this machine, but a very standard, basic, and user workstation that's really going to get the job done and super easy to get into and upgrade and repair if you're a tech. So let's hop in and check out the performance of this machine compared to maybe some older models, compared to some step-up newer models, and kind of see where it lands. Starting off with the Intel i5-12500 CPU. It beats out the 9700K fairly well. It's very interesting to see the performance difference from the 12th and 13th gen CPUs versus the 9th and 10th gen. It is really amazing how far the 12th and 13th gen CPUs have came in, in the performance category. Really good results on these. It's still quite a bit slower than the i9-11900 uh, and onwards, but again, this is an i5. In my opinion, the price versus performance on this machine is very good for a standard user workstation. Looking at the crystal disk mark, you can see sequential reads and writes, 3.3 gig and 2.7 gig respectively. One thing to keep in mind is the random reads and writes down at the very bottom. Holds its own very well. Um, you know. Crystal Disk Mark is one of those things you can download, it's free. Just make sure if you have an SSD to go to settings and select the SSD test and then run this and just kind of see how it compares. So what's my thoughts on the Optiplex 3000? You know, my main complaint on this machine is it doesn't have USB-C. In this day and time, I cannot believe any machine would ship without USB-C. It's really kind of the standard now, so I'm very surprised it doesn't have it. You can get it with an add-on card, but very surprised it doesn't have it, at least on the front. Um, it's a very common thing you're seeing on any kind of entry-level workstation now, so I am a little disappointed to see that it doesn't have a USB-C. At the end of the day, this machine is going to be totally fine for a standard end user. Someone who does a basic office tasks, this machine is going to be totally fine for them. And on the IT side, if you have to service this machine, it's very easy to work on. Nothing complicated to get into. It takes just a second to break into every piece of it. So overall, I like this machine. I like the price point. My only complaint is it doesn't have USB-C. As always, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Really trying to build a good community here, and I'm excited to bring additional content. Going to be redoing the studio soon, so stay tuned for that. One of the projects I'm most excited for is comparing the RTX 4080 on how it runs with an 8th gen CPU, a 10th gen CPU, and a 13th gen CPU. Really excited to see those results. So if you're in the market for a GPU but can't afford to upgrade everything at once, stay tuned for that video. Um, I can tell you the tests have already done. Very surprising. Um, very surprising to see the performance you get out of an older CPU, even with that card. So stay tuned for that. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the bottom of the video. And again, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.